In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on this Nissan Rogue. These are going to be located underneath the ignition coils. Let's get into it. We're going to move this baffle. There's a hose right here. Let's pop that out of that clip. There's a grommet right here. Pull up there. And then right here, there's a grommet. Just pull up. There you go. There's two hoses. There's a hose right here, and then the boot over here. I'm going to take some hose clamp pliers, remove it from the boot first. Squeeze that hose clamp, pull that off, and pull the clamp off, and then the hose right here. I'm going to pull the hose clamp right there, down there. I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers, squeeze this clamp. Slide that up, grab the hose, and pull that right up. We're going to remove this wiring harness. There's some retainers right here. I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers. Squeeze that, and this one too. Just squeeze it, it pulls out. It gives you a little bit of slack with the wiring harness. Disconnect the connector for the coil. We're just going to push down on the tab, slide the connector off. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Pull that out, grab the coil, wiggle it back and forth, and it pulls right out. Just use a little compressed air. Just blow out the spark plug tube in case there's any debris in there. Now using a 9 16 or a 14 millimeter spark plug socket, we're going to remove the spark plug. and pull that out. Take the new spark plug. Now these are pre-gapped. You don't want to use a spark plug gapping tool on these because you could break the electrode. So be very careful. Just visually look at it and just make sure there's a gap there. Make sure you can compare it to some of the older ones and make sure it looks fairly close. If you do have to gap them, you want to double check with a feeler gauge and just be very careful. Put the plug in the spark plug socket and lower it down very slowly. Snug that down. Now we're going to torque these to 14 foot pounds. Good. Now just take a thin coat of dielectric grease, not very much, just a dab, that's fine. Take the coil, get this lined up, twist that back and forth a little bit, take the bolts, get the bolts started. Snug that down. Now I'll torque this to 62 inch pounds. Take the connector, line it up, plug it in, and you can do the same with the other ones. Now I'll take the harness, get these brackets lined up, and push them in place. Get this in position. Using the hose clamp pliers, just loosen this up, put the baffle, get that started in place, make sure it's all the way on, release the clamp, take the tube, get that tube positioned, push that down. Using needle nose pliers, move that clamp, that's in place, now we get the pins lined up with the grommets. Push it down in this hose, push that in the retainer. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.